Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappingkatie.ctmh.com and this is week six of the She's Crafty mini paper pad class where we take a pre-made kit made up of all those mini paper pads you have and a sketch and create a layout. Here is a look at the sketch. Now I'm loving the oversized circles, the two photos in the middle, and then that title at the bottom as well as those strips of paper across the middle. Now here is a look at the kit that I made several weeks ago and I always leave a link down to that kit making process down below if you want to see where I grabbed all of these things from. So this little bag is pretty much a whole lot of everything for my stash and then these cute little mini paper pads or are from the Echo Park paper pad and I'm just loving it. It's very coffee themed. I love drinking coffee. Now I'm not an all day coffee drinker, but I definitely have to have one in the morning. And then depending on what my evening looks like, if I'm going to stay up late crafting, then I enjoy one in the evening as well. And I'm liking these papers because they all, they have like patterns as well as little coffee sentiments. Now for the base page, I pulled out an old paper from close to my heart um, called Feels Like Home. And I think I'm gonna use kind of this chicken wire pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the zip strip off of that and then cut these little cards apart just in case I wanna use them for embellishments or part of my title. Now, if you follow me, you know that I love to use little cards or stickers for my title versus, you know, cutting it on the Cricut or making it, um, I don't know, out of letters or something like that. So I am really anxious to find some of these little bitty pieces to create my title for this layout. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those little squares apart with my scissors. That was much easier than my paper cutter. And then on this pattern paper, there are a couple of strips that have some sentiments on there. I am going to cut those apart and set those aside and definitely try to use those. So to keep in line with the sketch, I am going to create a border around the edge of my paper. And right here, I'm just laying out the two photos that I've decided to use. And if you are not familiar with Waffle House, it is one of my husband and I's favorite place to eat. He loves waffles. I'm not really a big waffle person. But I love the coffee and I love paying um, super cheap prices to eat there. So I've got an idea of making um, coffee stains. So I've got some antique spray and then I've actually got my Starbucks coffee cup that I am drinking from. And I just um, sprayed some of that antique spray onto my multi-purpose mat and then used that coffee cup to create those rings and then made the little splotches um, using the little, um, I guess the little spray nozzle thing that comes out of the bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue some things down and then definitely play with all of the embellishments before I ad adhere those photos. Now, um, back to Waffle House. Uh, it's really, really good, really cheap. Uh, you can't see in this photo of um, my husband in the background, but I did take a photo of the ticket. So we both ate a huge meal plus unlimited coffee. And I believe my husband may have even had orange juice and it cost $17. Yeah, $17. So anytime we're near a Waffle House, we always make it a point to go there. And then I loved the sentiment on this coffee cup. And it says, coffee does so much for us and ask for nothing in return. And isn't that the truth? So I had to take a picture of that coffee cup. So I'm pretty much happy with those strips that I've put down under the photos. So I'm just pulling out my Versamat to make sure I can get them lined up across because I did have to cut them in half since this was a six by six paper pad. And so I'm just making sure that I'm lining those across and they'll be as even as possible. Um, you won't really be able to tell because the photos will be in between, but um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the photo. The photo with my husband is just gonna be glued with tape adhesive. And then I'm gonna use foam sheets to adhere the picture of that coffee cup. So I'm gonna get that glued down and then we are going to start on the embellishments. Now, I am really liking the coffee cups and then those um, little splatters. 
um, the splatters kind of bled into the paper because I'm not using um, watercolor paper. It's just plain uh, French vanilla cardstock. And I just love how it bled. Um, I hope you can see that here in just a second in the still shots. So to create more of the circles from the sketch, I've pulled out some of those little stickers as well as that little pin from that embellishment pack. And I've got those just kind of where I want them and I'm really happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel those off the carrier sheet and stick those down. Now you'll see here in just a second, I wish I wouldn't have done that five cent one yet. It is really bulky. And so it kind of creates a headache here in just a second. So I'm liking the little olive color uh, frames. They match that little bow at the top right on that little paper clip that says love. So I've decided to put some of those tiny squares that I cut apart from that mini paper pad in the center of these little olive frames and separate them one down at the bottom left and then one kind of up at the top. They're chipboard, so they've got just enough dimension. And then I'm just so surprised that those little pieces from that paper pad fit perfectly on the inside. So I'm liking that. And then I don't know if you caught that I put some of those cork uh, hearts in the middle of those circles. And here's where I kind of mess up. I really like the way it's looking, but I want to take one of the stamp sets um, that is really coffee themed and I want to add some sentiments in the center of those circles. Well here is where that little five cent piece um, kind of messes me up. So I was able to put the You Mocha Me Smile but then this other one I stamped down and I can't, my block is just hitting that five cent one and I moved it over as much as I can then I try to use my finger uh, as the block and it just really messes it up. So now I'm going to have to figure out what to do to hide that. So another image from that stamp set is a little coffee cup and saucer. So I thought that that would be cute because it kind of matches the coffee cups that we're dealing with. So I've stamped that and then I fussy cut out this little um, coffee all the time thinking it could go there. But I don't like it, but I do like that coffee all the time down at the bottom right. So I've done that. And then I want the heart inside that coffee mug to kind of match the mauve color from that paper packet. So I tried to cut it out of a piece of paper. That didn't work. So I just took one of my alcohol markers. It's a tri-blend marker. And I ended up just adding some color, not only to that heart in the center of the coffee, but also to the cup and saucer itself. And I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to add 3D foam tape to the back of that. But first I am going to pull out just some brown thread from my stash and do a couple of thread jumbles just to kind of add interest up there. I have got a lot going on at the top left um, and I didn't want it to look like, oops, she messed up, she's adding a whole bunch of crap. So I thought that the thread jumbles were really a good addition. Now with thread jumbles, if you put one, I just feel like you need um, one or two more. So I've kind of made a triangle with them using my paper piercer to tuck them in behind and then using glue dots to make sure they're really secure. So I want to add the date inside that coffee ring at the bottom right. So I'm just using my Heidi Swap, I think it is, date stamp. And then I have pulled out a stamp of the month from close to my heart called Doodle Borders. And I'm just going to add some little tick marks down underneath that pattern paper at the bottom. And then I'm just using a post-it note to make sure that that stamp set doesn't get anywhere I don't want it. Now over here by that five cent stamp again, I mean that five cent uh, little button, it does kind of mess me up. So I end up finishing this off camera because my hair really gets in the way. But I love the tick marks and that doodle border that that stamp set adds. So here is a look at the finished layout. Overall, I stay pretty true to the sketch. I do love that I was able to create that coffee ring using an actual coffee cup. And as you can see there, I did add some shimmer brush to those cork carts. 
Now, don't forget, this is part of the She's Crafty paper pad class, and I'll leave links down below to everyone playing along. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I always love reading your comments. And if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and sign up for notifications so you'll never miss another video.